guys, it's Coco JC, and I'm back here with part two of a Christmas of the Christmas little Christmas series that I'm doing. Did not mention it in my previous video, but it is a Christmas series. So now we are doing the pizza casserole. So as as you see here, these are two uh, two um Pillsbury biscuits of cans that I took out the biscuits, and what I did, I took them out and I just chopped them up in giant cubes that you can see here, and. Oh, we're gonna get started. Before we start here, obviously as usual, you're gonna follow all my socials. It's gonna be on the screen, so go follow all of them. My TikTok at CookingJCM2020, lowercase, no spaces. And uh, you can follow me on all my socials to see what I'm doing when I'm not making cooking videos. So as we're gonna start now. So as I said, I have the two cans of the Philsbury biscuit uh, dough that, that I cut in, in cubes. So what we're gonna do now is add a whole jar of marinara pasta sauce. I'm gonna add this in here. The whole jar. I'm gonna add the whole thing and shake the most that you can get out of it. If not, you can get a spoon, but I'm not gonna do that just for time. And we're gonna mix this now. And before we do, we're gonna add one cup of shredded, uh, one cup of shredded, uh, these mozzarella cheese right here. As you can see, and I pre-measured this out, so I'll just put in the bowl here. So we're gonna add this on top. We're gonna mix it anyway, so I could just, you know, put it in here. Oh, um, and then after that, we're gonna mix this up, and then I'm gonna transfer this into this glass bowl right here, over here. So, so you guys can see here, I'm going to take this out because we don't need this, right? This, I'm going to put over here, so you guys, you guys can see it, I'm going to take this out, and now I have this casserole dish here, right? Because it's called pizza casserole, so I need a casserole dish, so oh, I could fit it like this, alright? So now we're going to transfer this to the casserole dish, and just disclaimer, obviously I sprayed this down. With the, with the greaser type thing so it doesn't stick so so make sure you do that because if you don't it will stick and then you have a nightmare so you don't want that to happen right I'm gonna take this and we're just gonna kind of slide everything into here and then obviously see the cheese with the sauce and everything you can just all right so obviously that's out of the way so now we're gonna take this and just spread it around and make sure that it's covered with the sauce. All that. Make sure it's good. Alright, that's good. So we don't need this anymore. So next, I'm gonna take I have a pound of ground sausage here that I'm gonna lay down here. And it's cooked already. I pre-cooked this so it's not raw over the round too. We don't have to like there, so it's all around, right? So, the spots that don't have it, you can move it around, all of that, that's good. So now, next thing we have is a combination. I have a half of green bell pepper here with one small red onion here. So I'm gonna add that. Okay, so. After that, I have a can of olives. You see this, obviously, they're sliced and everything. So I'm gonna add this down. Last thing we're gonna do here is we have another cup of shredded mozzarella cheese. And we're gonna take this, and you just wanna So last thing, oh Joe, you're done, right? Nope. Last ingredient, Italian seasoning. Now I'm just gonna sprinkle some on here, because remember, this is imitating a pizza. So on pizza, you're just gonna put stuff like this on it too. All right, done. Last thing, 
we'll, we're gonna put this in the oven at 375 degrees for 35 minutes and so we're gonna put this in the oven now and then I'll see you for the presentation part now I might taste this for you guys not sure but overall you're gonna get a presentation all right and just like that voila it's in the oven now so I'll see you in 35 minutes and when it's nice and golden brown on top and gooey and gooey cheesy all right so i'll see you in the next part see you guys okay guys i'm back and uh and now it's fully cooked i let it, it's still piping hot and this is what it looks like i cut so, a piece out for a presentation and tell you guys how it describe how it tastes but this is how it looks it's nice it's piping hot actually i can tell you that right now because it just came out the oven it's only been out the oven for like a good like 10 minutes about so so now i'll show you the presentation Y'all can see that up close and the good lighting. And now, in every video, I'm gonna show you how it tastes. So, y'all see me now? Alright, so, again, this is what it looks like when you have a slice. Alright. Still packing hot, so I'm gonna be careful not to burn my mouth. First bite, got everything in there. All of that. Alright. It's nice. It has a nice texture to it. it has a lot of flavor with all the with all the greens that I added. It has a lot of good flavor. And uh, actually, I was expecting to be piping hot out of the oven, but maybe some section I took, but. It was actually not that hot, so I didn't burn myself. So that was good. Hey okay, guys, this is it again. See it? And, uh, uh you all see this? Alright. I, I don't know if this is gonna be a thumbnail, so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do this. I close like if I'm doing the thumbnail, so. That is end of this recipe of the Mediterranean artichoke dip. And I mean, not the martin arm truck did the pizza casserole that I just did right here. And yeah, I hope you guys like this video. And if I have not mentioned, follow all my socials my Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, and oh, and my TikTok. Follow me at Cooking with JCM 2020. All, all um, lowercase no, and no spaces, just Cooking JCM 2020. You'll find me. And you can see what I, what I post um, when I'm not making cooking videos. So, further ado, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, until next time, JCM and I'm out. Peace.